Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where a series of awkward timing and just well played by the AI lost us this territory over here. We will take that back, but for now we need to deal with this faction here. And the question is, how can we deal with it? Well, this guy is currently in charge. They're going to send their ultimatum in six months. We're just going to tick forward a little bit here. And we're hoping... Well, more people are probably going to join this faction, if I had to guess. Let's see here. I definitely want to fight this faction. I really wish it wouldn't close this and completely reset this window periodically. Because we need to keep an eye on the faction here. Uh, yes, we will meet peers. That's fine. We look forward to it. So obviously we have to win this war. This is very, very important. And so we have to know who's in charge of it. Which currently it's Frisia here. And that's great. Prizia is completely fine. Um, okay. This lady is now in charge of it. Can we get her out of this faction? I don't think so. Well, possibly. But I don't think we necessarily want to. She's probably going to end up being the faction leader. So we're going to move our rally point down to here. We're going to raise our entire army here. It's two months away. I don't think she's going to lose the faction leader status here. Not in that amount of time. They're very powerful, no doubt about that. They can send their ultimatum at any time right now. But that's fine. We just got a bunch of additional taxes. That's nice. Okay. There's the ultimatum. We will not be threatened. So we'll rally the troops here. And the first thing that we're going to do is split off bombards and sufficient troops to siege here. There we go. We'll put in a siege commander and they will get started on the siege of her capital. Now the question is, where is she located? She is currently in her capital and is not going to be commanding these troops. Okay. Well, we just took her capital. And we're going to head off over this direction. We're 42 days from raising. They're 39. I'm going to let them continue to raise here until they are 10 days from raising. Or from being raised, rather. So right now, we stop raising and in we go. Okay, we just had our desertions happen there. It's, it's a little unfortunate. We need a new chancellor that will be this guy. And we need a new marshal that will be this guy. Cool. So ticking war score is on our side. And we are getting as much as we can from sieges right now. We're going to fight this and hopefully get some battle war score. 4%. Well, she's raising up here. She raised some mercs. That's reasonably fine. We're going to continue sieging. We're at 50% war score right now. That's kind of huge. Okay. Raising down here. We're going to come down there. Where is she currently located? She's still in her capital. It's unfortunate that we didn't capture her. And there's also another faction here that we need to be concerned about. That is a Liberty faction. We will likely just acquiesce to them. I think that's okay. Cool. So we're going to stack wipe this. And she starts raising over here now. Okay, we're going to head over there. And is this... That's an empty holding. Cool. 
So we're currently at 61% war score, and ticking is on our side. Now they're going to finish up some sieges eventually. Yeah, there's a siege there. The Liberty Demand here. We drop down to high crown authority. We acquiesce to that. Okay. There's also this faction. And this one we don't want to fire. What can we do about this guy? Threshold is currently 45%. Will that threshold change here? I feel like that threshold should come up. Okay. Um, we need to do something with the King of Brittany for sure. I'm going to invite this guy to court. Okay. He arrived. We'll now break his betrothal. Yes, that will make this guy angry, but that's okay. Then we're going to go in here, and we're going to arrange a marriage with this guy's daughter here and our half-brother. There we go. That'll buy us some time. We're going to come in over here and look to get these sieges done as quickly as we can. I'm going to split these forces in half, and we're going to come out over this way. I'm going to split in half again. These guys are going to come up here. Cool. We see a lot of forces going by over here. And actually, I was thinking about going and sieging. I'm actually leaning against that right now. Looking at the way that these guys are laid out right now, they're pretty spread out. Okay, so we're going to stack wipe this force here. There we go. Now we're going to head up here. More mercs. Sure. Let's get these guys grouped together. This siege is now over. Okay. Uh, nine months on that. We may be able to just give this guy away. Done. Okay. No problem there. So we're coming in here. We're going to group these together. We're going to fight these guys here. No problem. Actually, we don't catch them here. Which is slightly unfortunate. But we're going to embark. And see about going and fighting elsewhere. We're at 78%. I want to build up some war score over here. So off we go. This is fine. We finish up that siege. Back up to 72. We're at 80% of our occupation. We're going to win these battles over here. Which will help our battle war score considerably. Cool. Next. Where do we go? Out over here, potentially? Or do we just look to resupply? I think we look to resupply here. We need to finish up these sieges. Okay. We're at 88% war score here. 77%. They just got 11% for taking this location. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're going to continue to siege until we hit 100% here. And we're looking to resupply out over this way. So we need to split up quite a lot. And we're going to need to split up more than this. So we'll do something kind of like this, and then these guys will split. And these guys will split. Cool. 
So we'll get that resupplying done for a little bit here. We're likely at... Okay, we're at 98% here. Okay. We do have ticking on our side. And they can only get another 38% from sieging. So we're resupplying. Now this siege is awkward for us. There's nothing we can do about it. This is a hostile force. But we can continue to siege down this way. We're at 87. We do require a new marshal. We absolutely get one. There we go. Okay. We're going to group up here. And we're going to continue to siege back over this way. I'm hoping these guys fight each other. That would be awfully nice. And we're going to come up here and fight. We'll arrive there in three months, which will be before they finish their siege. Beautiful. We are going to need to come back here and clear some of this out, though. So we're going to look to do that as soon as we have... Actually, do we do that now? No. They're not actually going for their capital. So we're currently at 100%. So this siege is actually pointless. And we should instead be targeting something like Honorius. Where is this? Down over here. This is where the majority of their forces are. So we're not going to be going there. We're instead going to be coming up here. Cool. So ticking is on our side, and that's great. They are attempting to embark here. We just stack wiped a, uh, a force there. We're to come in and attack here. Easy win. Cool. Now we're going to push up over here. The embarkation has started. And over we come to take some of this territory back. Fantastic. So ticking continues to be on our side. We're at 76. They can only get 16 more. We see some of their forces down here. They're coming towards us. So we're going to finish this siege. Back off to here. And then we're going to see if we can fight these guys. They are embarking, so we're likely not going to get there in time. Okay. We can group back up here. I'm just wondering if they're spread out enough. We could potentially come down here. We're at 94%. We need to target something that will get us a small amount of war score. Perhaps here. Something that is safe and will get us just a small amount of war score. We're very close here. Okay. So there's a stack wipe. And we'll get this siege. Not that the siege will help us. I think we'll re-embark here. We just need 5% more war score. Okay, we need quite a bit more now. But what if we were to come up here and not fight them, but rather siege this back? We're not looking to fight here. Not at this moment. We have a dynasty legacy available. We can take ordained rulership. Sounds good to me. Okay, that brought us to 95. I'm just running some quick mental math calculations here. Our main problem is we have no supplies here. Yeah, I don't like this. That's for sure. 
We're to back off a bit and let them move on by. They're getting close to cap. And if we can take this, that will help us a lot with getting resupplied. So we do need to resupply here. That said, this is intriguing. They're making some odd movements here. We're going to be able to take this location. I'm going to split off our siege force. It's slightly risky here. But we're going to move back up over here. We do desperately need to resupply. I'm just watching their movements right now. Okay. Cool. We're going to head down to here. We don't have a siege commander. We definitely need one. There we go. I'm going to split these forces a little bit. Like so. We're going to resupply while sieging this back. We're at 90% right now. What is Nikea worth? Oh, Nikea, assuming they don't finish a siege before we do here, Nikea will end the war. Beautiful. War is over. Okay. That was a little bit dicey. I'm not going to lie. But that's so huge. We enforce our demands, all of those people, to the prisons. We disband our armies. We immediately see this faction, but they're, that's actually these people all being imprisoned. They will go away here. And now we should be pretty safe to come of age. Now we're currently nine. The main problem with this guy is he has access to a ridiculous number of men at arms. Now we can actually upgrade our men at arms, which we didn't do before that. And we should do that now, for sure. I'm currently thinking about adding in another unit of Varengian veterans. Um, we have... We could put in another unit of archers, actually. He's running multiple types of cavalry. Pikemen, armored footmen, bowmen. A pretty mixed bag. But crossbowmen counter both heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. So he has light cavalry. We do counter those with our pikemen. So do we go for an extra unit of crossbowmen or an extra unit of pikemen? So Varengian veterans counter spearmen and heavy cavalry. Pikemen counter light cavalry, which would be what would be useful in dealing with the AI armies here. Whereas the crossbowmen deal with heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. It seems like the AI isn't running very much heavy cavalry at all. Basically none. There's some up here. But it seems like they're more preferential towards light cavalry right now. So I am going to run Pikeman. There we go. We're going to bump that up to max size, and we're going to bump all of our men-at-arms up to max size. We're going to need to wait for a little bit of reinforcement here, for sure. So that's going to be quite a lot, right? It's, it's going to take some time for that to get reinforced. Not a ton of time, but some time. We have a ransom here. This guy is a vassal, so we decline. We do not want additional factionalism right now, I can tell you that. So we're going to come in here and construct a military camp as well. What is our education focus? Are we stewardship? Uh, yes, we're stewardship. Sounds good. This guy is acceptable. And we're just going to let our troops regenerate a little bit here. Cool. We're going to go after this guy again. If we were to do so right now... I feel...
feel like it's winnable. We could simply do this kingdom invasion. And just try to eliminate him. It's not coastal. This is all a peninsula. You could make an argument that that would be thematically appropriate. But we could do something along the lines of that. And just take all of his territory. Now we're lacking prestige for doing that. Uh, we'll become just. That's fine. This ransom is acceptable. This ransom is also acceptable. Beautiful. So that's all good. I don't know that we're actually going to do that. I, I think we're probably not. The major problem, though, is we are leaving behind some relatively powerful people here, right? That's definitely something that's happening with us just taking coast. But that's, to some extent, the challenge here. So we need to do a conquer duchy with it being this duchy would be what we'd do. It'd be a tough battle right now. He has a lot of gold as well. He would almost certainly bring in mercs and holy orders, and we don't want that to happen. That, that'll be a lot. For the moment, we're not really in a position to deal with that. So we're not going to do that just now. We will go ahead and build a militia barracks in Bedford, and we're going to continue to build up our soldier count. We're going to bump back up to absolute crown authority eventually. We should probably meet peers here to gain some prestige. Welcome. Because we definitely need to work up our prestige. There's no doubt about that. We'll save him. Uh, 83% chance of increasing our learning. Cool. Do it. Increase our learning. Yes. Our learning is currently 10, which isn't bad. Until next time, 150 prestige. Cool. So we need to bank up prestige, and a good way to do that is ransoming. That will also give us gold. So this is completely fine. As long as they are not our vassal, we will do this. We do not want to ransom vassals under any circumstances. Not right now. So all of these are vassals. So we'll let that all tick in. Cool. Looks like that's it. No more ransoms to be done at the moment. But that did get us a good amount of prestige. And bumping up to Absolute Crown Authority will cost 712 more. Fantastic. We can definitely build our barracks in Colchester. Oh, and we can revoke one of our castles, too. We'll definitely do that. Done. Okay. So that'll increase our income as well as our troop count by a decent amount. And we're going to need to revoke some more of these eventually. There's a royal court situation here. Uh, we will get some piety there. Cool. Absolutely fine. I want to check in... Oh, hello. We'll ransom you. I want to check in on our innovations here. So we'll have rightful ownership in four years. Cool. That'll be fine. Ermine cloaks in five years, which will be nice to get the, that prestige banking. And the rest of this is not too far away either. That'll look good. We'll probably prioritize promissory notes next. Yes, this is acceptable. Uh, what about these? No, you are a vassal. Get out of here. Cool. So in London, we will continue to build training grounds. We need all of the... These are all vassals. Get out of here. We need all of the cash we can get our hands on that isn't coming from ransoming vassals. Oh, wow, we've ca we've conquered a lot of Africa that our vassals have conquered. Neat. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we might end up going after this guy. We'll see. We'll see how that ends up going. 
You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods. Oh, wait, this guy is infirm. He's doing okay, though. I wouldn't mind having him die and get rid of those alliances. But for the time being, I'm going to put that cut in. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.